With V-Ray 5, there is a quick and easy way to take your scenes to the next level. Chaos Cosmos is an extensive library of ready-to-use assets to populate your scenes in just a few clicks. Let's open the Chaos Cosmos browser. You will notice that there are a lot of assets, separated into different categories and subcategories. If we open one, we can see more information for that particular model, and if we click Download, the model will be stored on our machine. For a faster experience, we can just download models from the thumbnails. Let's download a few plants for our exterior. Just click Download, and when it is complete, importing the asset is just a click away and ready to be placed wherever you like. We'll add more plants, cars, and people, and switch to our main camera to see the result. Since every asset in Chaos Cosmos is designed for V-Ray, they are ready to render right out of the box. When we are done arranging our scene, all we need to do is click Render to get a stunning image and effortlessly build an entire environment. Another thing I would like to mention is that Chaos Cosmos is constantly growing with more and more free assets. Even if commercial assets appear in the browser at some point, the set of free items will be available and expand. Now that the scene is done, we can prepare the project to be shared with colleagues or rendered on a farm. Notice that when we download assets from Cosmos, they are stored in our local machine. In order to avoid missing assets on other machines or network rendering, we will need to do a few additional steps. If we want to render our project on a network render farm, we need to pack all of the Cosmos assets with the project. But if we want to share it with colleagues, there's another option to be sure that everything renders as it does on our local machine. Let's navigate to the V-Ray drop-down menu and from there choose Pack Project. You will notice that Rhino will prompt us to save the project before the archive. So after saving, we can archive it. You just need to choose a location on our machine or on a server. Now we need to decide if we want to pack the Cosmos assets into the archive in case someone will use it without internet connection or if it will be rendered on a network farm. If we just want to share it with a colleague, click No. When we open the archive file on a different machine, you may notice that the Cosmos assets are missing, like the trees to the right of the scene, which appear in the viewport, but do not appear when we render them. This is because V-Ray can't find those assets on this computer. To remedy this, all we need to do is download them. The easiest way to do this is to use the Geometry tab in the V-Ray's Asset Editor. There we have all of our Cosmos assets listed. When you take a look, there is a small icon to the right side of each missing asset that says Download. Click this icon and a download will start. We can do this for each asset or just select the assets you want. In this case, I will select everything, then click right, and again, select download. Now, we just have to wait while Chaos Cosmos downloads everything, and we are ready to render our project. Let's stop the render for a minute. If we take a closer look at the Cosmos assets, you will notice that there are not many ways to modify them, only the preview type and the option to override it. But in some cases, we may want to change the material of the objects. To do that, we just need to select the asset and right-click to choose Merge, or hit the Merge button from the right side option panel while selecting the asset. Now the Cosmos asset will be converted to a V-Ray proxy, and all the materials applied to it will be accessible so we can modify or replace them.